You're watching the GameSpot Co-op Stage, sponsored by LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Welcome back to the GameSpot Co-op Stage here at E3 2016, brought to you by LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm Jeff Kanata, and I am joined by Danny O'Dyer, Ashley Esqueda, and the Senior uh, Community Manager yeah. for Crystal Dynamics, Megan Marie. It's great to be here, thanks for having me. Well, we are excited to have you because uh, I was not aware of this, <laughs> and it kind of makes me feel old. Right, yeah. But Tomb Raider turns 20 years old it this does. year. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. It's amazing, though. It's a big year for us, yeah. Where so, did the time uh, go? Yeah, 1996, the first Tomb Raider came out. Yeah. And uh, here we are 20 years later, and it's still going strong. I mean, my... My uh, video game show, DLC, we yeah. named uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider as our game of the year last year. That's right. amazing. That's so wonderful to hear. Yeah, so that is, that is a franchise that is definitely still going strong. Yeah. Talk a little bit about this, this big anniversary for you guys. Yeah, so throughout the year, we're trying to do a whole bunch of different celebrations to just, again, celebrate what Tomb Raider and Lara Croft means to the industry and means to the fans. And so we've announced a couple of different projects. Firstly, we came up with a really cool logo. And I love this. It's a... It's a very carefully visually designed so that it doesn't look quite like classic Lara or, or you know, the modern rebuted Lara. Oh. You know, it's, is it a ponytail or is it a braid or is it pants or is it shorts? And so it's just really cool celebration it's logo. It's Pan Laura. Yeah, so you, <laughs> but you recognize the silhouette like instantly, you know, that's Lara Croft. And so that was something really fun that we did to create this, this banner for our celebrations. Um, and then we announced a couple of projects already where we have an official 20th anniversary book that covers the, the breadth of the industry, uh, of the, the franchise from video games to comics to the movies and the fans. There's 100 pages dedicated to just our fans in this wow. book, which is something that I'm pretty proud of because yeah. our community is wonderful. Uh, we also announced a, a music suite, the Tomb Raider music suite, which is uh, the original composer from the, uh, the first games, the first three games, Nason Cree. He's re reimagining the, the oh, tracks right. and oh, he's cool. doing a concert. Uh, and it's going to be really cool. So we have a couple of other uh, 20th anniversary announcements, some some cool That's merchandising awesome. and other things coming up in the future. So we're we're trying to stagger a bunch of celebrations throughout the year and 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 really dive into that nostalgia. That's great. I, Ashley, as a as a girl gamer, as Lara a, probably has a very strong place in your heart. Yeah. I mean, I the thing is, is there were so few female protagonists. I mean, I really identified as a as a kid with. Uh, Samus. I mean, Samus around was, yeah. was the jam. Like that was it, and um, and then it it became Lara Croft. Yeah. Like that sort of ushered in my my teenage years was spent like hanging out with Lara in in all of the different doing puzzles and everything in tombs. And for me, I think it was really refreshing. And, and I didn't realize it at the time. It's just one of those things that now looking back on it, it was so exciting to me to see somebody that was not just tough or only sexy or only smart or only one thing it was all of those yes. things and i've always felt that you know being obviously like growing up as a, a a gamer who loves games and is also a girl like people always thought that was really weird but i was just like well look at laura croft like laura croft is a hero so why can't i be in games like so it was always a thing that i felt really strongly about like i i championed that and i thought that that was really important that it didn't just have to be, oh, she's really tough, but she's not sexy. Like yeah. it can right. be both, and I, I just really, I really appreciate that. I mean, that's like a cool. That's the best thing about Lara Croft. It's a, it's funny now because I grew up very much a similar story, and I know I hear that story echoed across a lot of, especially women in gaming. Um, but I grew up, and she was, she inspired me in so many ways to be brave and bold, and to you know really push me even to. to try my hand in a male-dominated industry working in gaming and sure. so on. But the funny thing is now she's younger than me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she was uh, like, she, uh, was my, she was my idol Lara. growing up, and now in the rebo rebooted universe, she's younger than me. But it's, I draw, I still love, I love both versions so much. You know, like classic Lara inspired yeah. me to be brave and strong and the bold. The blue tank and, top, the shorts, the and posters. Now, like, I mean, it's such a great, iconic thing. Yeah. And, and, I, and, you know, at the time, you see it, and now it looks so silly. Like, yeah, you right. look at everything, but it's like, oh, man, it was so, like, realistic and cool, and wow, look at, like, she's jumping and running and doing all this crazy stuff. Like, I I loved it, and it was 
It was really imp I Again, like, you don't realize it at the time, but it was really important to me. Yeah. Uh, you can not necessarily articulate it. Like, as a 12 year old, yeah. I didn't know why representation but was I so important. It. I but I loved it. But now I look back and it's like, I didn't have much in common with her. <laughs> she was, yeah. you know, a British gun toting <laughs> archaeologist. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Very well off. <laughs> um, but she was brunette and she was a woman. And, and, it and now she looks me. up to us. Yeah. Well, well I think that this, the, the new Laura, rebooted Laura, continues to inspire me, especially because she, she shows true bravery through adversity and sure. like, teaches you that like vulnerability and being human isn't a bad thing. And is it so weakness? It's a way for it doesn't me. mean it's weakness. A, it's a, definitely something I draw inspiration from too. Yeah, yeah well, Danny, I, I, I'm curious. Uh, it seems to me that the, the pattern of uh, the path of this franchise right. mirrors in a lot of ways the, the pattern and path of the video game industry as a whole. Mm. Here we have a character and a series that started as basically a riff on Indiana Jones or something, right. very simplistic, and now these modern, these last two games are so much more nuanced and so much richer and so much deeper and have a character that is really written as, as well as any film character is. And, and I think that shows where we went as an industry, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, there aren't many game franchises of its last two decades, like just across the board, especially not one that's been led by a singular character. So in that respect, Tomb Raider is incredibly sort of singular, singular in that respect. I mean, I think about my own uh, love of that franchise. When I first got a PlayStation, the, the Lara Croft and Tomb Raider was the uh, franchise that I attached myself to immediately. I remember, like at Christmas, I could only ever get one, I get one video game, right? That was my present. I remember, I guess it was 98 then, so Tomb Raider 3. Yep. Uh, that year, getting, getting scared. My sister had to pick it up in England because there was no copies oh. left. <laughs> she brought it home. And my mother was like, why are you tomb? She thought it was a game about grave digging. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Tomb Raider. Was like, no, 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 it's grave not. robbers. Yeah, That's no, no, basically it's... like, oh, I have to steal from all these dead people. For sure, right? <laughs> and you're right. Like, there, I mean, there was a dark path in the middle there with Angel of Darkness, and some of those games didn't really hit off really well. I mean, right. Crystal Dynamics picked up that ball, and when they when they sort of reinvented Tomb Raider, I mean, twice now, basically. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the, the foundation was there, and the foundation is what made it so strong. And Core Design did a wonderful job in creating this game where you could actually interact with these incredible 3D environments. Mm. And I think, yeah. you know, it's easy. Lara Croft is amazing and, and, you know, obviously, like, she's the, the reason that I fell in love with the games first and foremost. But the world and the technology and the environments and the puzzles and T-Rexes and all these things, like, the, <laughs> yeah. the gameplay was so incredible and that foundation that they laid, you know, allowed us to really uh, run with the franchise when we became the stewards of it. And so it's it's been an incredible journey looking yeah. through, looking Looking through it has been really incredible. It's, it's an amazing time period. And you know, here we are at E3, and there's so much uh, excitement around uh, a game like God of War that's being right. sort of rebooted. Yeah. And I feel like what we're seeing from God of War is very exciting, but wouldn't have happened if there hadn't have been a, a Tomb Raider. You know, it's, it, I think it learned from that. It's in that same. Well, so many games were inspired by that. I mean, Uncharted, like, I mean, if you think right, about all sure. these like amazing, incredible games. Itself, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. literally like this, this time is a flat circle. Like, you think about all these amazing games that are these action adventure games that have some puzzle solving elements in them. And really Tomb Raider was the genesis of that in terms of sort of 3D gaming on PlayStation. And I mean, this was, that was it. And so now to see kind of what it's evolved to, I mean, we're all so lucky to be gaming right now, yeah. like to have, see these amazing games, and it's not just one franchise, it's yeah. so many. I mean, that's Absolutely. a very good point. Like, for a long time, there were 3D action games, but they were predominantly shooting, shooting, shooting. And I mean, you go back and play the first Tomb Raider game, the amount of downtime in that, like for large, most of the game, you're spent exploring. exploring. I mean, the isolation I, is incredible. Yeah, yeah. You don't get that a lot. A, there's a wolf maybe every once in a while, but. Yeah. Bears, yeah. So it, terrifying we, bears. Yeah, yeah, so scary bears. and hide in the water. And then in Uncharted 4, you've got these long stretches where you're not doing Just anything. Exploring, I mean, uh, climbing, like, you know, doing doing Nathan E. Drake th Drakey things. Yeah. <laughs> All he needs now is a butler he can lock in the fridge and we're gone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One of the best moments. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think it speaks to the, to the power of characters and characters that persevere, right? I mean, I think you could put Lara up against, you know, alongside Pac-Man yeah. and Mario. You know, she is, she is one of that pantheon of, of characters that has been around that long and endures and continues to be relevant and continues to represent. I mean, we've had films 
of Tomb Raider, but right. it represents video games, I think, yeah. in yeah. a large sense. And I think that it, she definitely transcends gaming, even though it's, you know, being so important and pivotal within gaming. I mean, going to the, the two comic series with Top Cow and Dor Dark Horse and the movies, and we are having another movie coming out, yeah. and we've got yeah. you know, an animated, there was an animated series at one point in time. There's over 10, you know, models, and so there's, there's a lot of, it just it, it crossed boundaries, and it you know Lara Croft in in 1997 was on the cover of The Face, which was this British fashion magazine, and it was the first virtual character to be on The Face, and they you know allowed her to interrupt the masthead, and it was just like this moment when they realized that Lara was really transcending gaming, that she was a pop culture icon. So what's next? I mean, you mentioned a, a new film. We, we've heard about some casting yeah. on yeah. that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but what's next for for the video game franchise? Are we you know she is continuing to rise? I'm I think assuming. So. I think there's some she destiny to be fulfilled, oh. but I'm not going to say anything more than that. All right. <laughs> so it's just it's an exciting time to work on the franchise, and knowing that the future is really bright, and that you know this year is all about celebration is really great. Yeah. It's especially for longtime fans. I'm right now on social channels. We're doing every two weeks. We're we're doing a deep dive on another game, and so right now we're doing Tomb Raider three, and every day we're posting this little tidbit and a lot of stuff. It's really fun because. Um, I, I wrote the, the 20th anniversary book, and in, in that process of writing it, I uncovered a bunch of stuff that even I didn't know, and I right. kind of thought that I knew. <laughs> I knew I, I thought I knew a lot about the franchise, but there was all this stuff that I had never even heard of. And so we're taking some of those tidbits and we're putting them online, and, and it's just this huge nostalgia trip. Everybody's having so much fun with it, and so we, you know, uncovered um, like a. a this Tomb Raider 3 um, launch trailer that was only shown at the, the localized launch trailer at the localized launch event in London. And we found it and, and resed it up and put it online. And, <laughs> wow. you know, so we're finding all of That's these cool. things that are treasures from the last 20 years. Are you able to go back and play those games? Are they are they available? Are they on GOG? Yeah, you can go to Steam. You they're can play all of them. They're Tomb Raiding the archives. On Steam? They're on Steam? <laughs> really? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's and I think cool. they're, they're great. Yeah. I replayed Tomb Raider 2 a couple of years ago, and it held up well. I remember it was as hard as I remember it being. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was it's a very hard. Oh. Both All the best. fire traps, oh they look just terrible. Well, that's cool. Well, 20 years of Lara Croft, 20 years of Tomb Raider. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Where can people find out more about the year-long festivities? Yeah, well, TombRaider.com, and then specifically, we have a hub on our Tomb Raider Tumblr account, so it's TombRaider.tumblr.com, and we're keeping an updated schedule. Um, but just use the hashtag Tomb Raider 20. That's what all of our posts are through. Awesome. Well, we got lots more coming at you from E3, so uh, stick around and keep us tuned in.